Hey everyone, sorry, I'm just a little bit sick, so I know I sound pretty bad. I'm just gonna wait for a few people to jump in here <clears throat> before I start talking. And just let me know that the chat's working. If you wanna go ahead and type a one, just so I can know how much of a delay there is. And I'm sick on my birthday, so hopefully I sound better later. <clears throat> Thanks, Tessa. Hey, Travis, Kelly, what's going on? Okay, so there's only about a five second delay, so that's awesome. Okay, let me take a drink. I'm gonna try to clear my throat. <clears throat> okay, so as far as my subs go, I'm going to put you up to speed on what's been going on. Um, there is a YouTuber by the name of Lady, and then there's a space, and then a capital A. Thanks. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. I know I turned it on. I'm sorry. Slow chat. Sorry. Okay, so I had done a video, and I think it, it might still be up on my channel, it might not, um, where she was bashing me for emailing her husband, calling me hussy and all this stuff. And I know you all don't, do not like the drama, but I've got to speak since I couldn't speak on her live stream a while ago. Okay. Um, hey, Scarab, Dan. Hey, Doc. All right, listen. So this woman has come out and basically told everyone that she had cancer. And since I questioned her, because the proof of the chemotherapy that she provided had a date of April 23rd, 2018, okay? <clears throat> All right, so I questioned her on this chemo bag, right? And that's why she got so mad because she was just diagnosed with cancer in December of 2018. That's why she got mad at me. And I was emailing an email address that she provided. And, oh gosh, I can't even think. I hate when I'm sick. So anyways, just because I questioned her on this, she got upset with me. And then I was emailing an email address that she told me to email that was on her PayPal. And then she said I wanted to get with her husband. Okay, sorry. Never, never happened. Never wanted to get with her husband. I'm going to play you all a little snippet of her going live telling everybody that she's sorry because she took donations. And as far as I know, the number is up to $850 and still counting in donations because this woman had cancer. And little does she know that is a federal offense. She went on YouTube, said she had cancer. She lied. She actually came out and said, I lied. But we already had her figured out. So I'm going to play some audio for you guys. Just to, and because my computer was so slow, <clears throat> At my internet was going in and out, so it might be a little sketchy. But I, I was in her live stream, and I was trying to get her to basically admit that she lied on me, right? So let me get this audio pulled up. And I, I can't pull up the actual video right now, but I'm just going to have play this audio, let you all listen. <laughs> Okay, could you all hear that? Just let me know if you all heard that okay. Hey, Kelly. <clears throat> could you all hear the audio okay on that? I'm pretty sure you can. I just want to make sure. So she's basically asking somebody to unblock me so that I can speak, okay? Not too well. Okay, I'm going to try to turn it up a little bit here. Okay. All right. Uh, no, nah. she never donated. I don't want nothing to do with her. Because I never donated to her. She's not going to apologize to me. What a manipulator. Oh, my gosh. 
Listen. Oh, you know what? You were the wrong one. It doesn't matter if she no, knew. No, I wasn't. Oh, I don't, Michelle. It, it, Come it, on, remember? Yeah, remember? You were the one who hurt them ultimately in a big bad way. Okay. Hold on to that. You'll be free. Carmen, baby, don't tell me to calm down. I'm not going to. I'm a, I'm a, um, I've got a little uh, bubbly personality here. That's just the way it is, kiddo. If you don't like it, then go away. Yeah, Marianne, I guess I am as bad as him. I know. <clears throat> Thanks, Hockey Mom. Appreciate it. Anyway, guys, sorry you don't like me. Some of you do, and those of you do, I, you're being delightful. Um, I'm trying my I'm really trying to No, help I don't that. want nothing to do with Marisa either. Not one thing in the world to do with her. That has nothing to do with anything. I'm not saying I'm any better. I've done things in my lifetime. All of us have. And by the way, I, I challenge all of you to study yourself and take a look at your heart and where you've gone wrong and try to make it better. And if you're telling Michelle off or you're telling me off, my goodness, don't do that. We're good people. I'm a good person. You want to tell me off? Okay. That's, that's whatever. That makes no sense. But Michelle. Be the most humble Michelle you can be and stop pointing your finger at anybody else who's done wrong. Because if you've done wrong also, you have no right to say that about other people. I think what she's saying is that, is, what's her name supposed to come on and talk to you? She never would uh, say okay. my name. I don't want I know, it's choppy, Who's sorry guys. And that, that's basically it. I just wanted you all to hear that because I did not donate to this woman. She was not going to apologize to me. And then she says, you know, oh, no, she wasn't. I promise on my life I did not email her husband. I emailed her and I showed receipts in the video that I did. This woman has committed a federal offense, lying, stealing people's hard-earned money, basically, because she lied about having cancer. I'm sorry, but that is not okay. And the woman lives in my state. She's not that far away from me. Not that far. Billy Bird, just please, I just ask that you behave, okay? It's my birthday, for crying out loud. Hey, Phoebe, how's it going? Hey, Robert, Funky Blue. So I don't have a fever. I had a fever last night. I don't have a fever right now, thank God. I haven't had one all day, so I don't think it's the flu. No, I'm not in a love triangle. She wishes that we were in a love triangle. And check this out. So she lies to all these people, right, on YouTube. And her husband is not even aware of it. She doesn't tell her husband anything because he stepped up to bat for her, right? He's like, everybody leave my wife alone, blah, blah, blah. But what was interesting was, is the fact that her husband didn't mention anything. My, my wife's sick with cancer. Leave her alone. I found that very, very telling. And then she admitted yesterday in her live stream, no, my husband has no idea. And I will have you all know that the authorities have been contacted by more than one person. Hey, John Smith, what's going on? Go ahead, Dan, you have my permission. So here, let me, I'm gonna click back on my screen here and I mean, what are your all thoughts on this? I mean, somebody that has lied to people and just, there are people literally crying on YouTube over this woman 
because she drugged them in and made them have feelings for her and care about her. And she lied to everyone and made them think that she was dying of cancer. Well, not dying. I think she said 30% chance is what her doctor said. And she pulls out this rifle at one time and says, is this what you all want me to do? Blow my head off on a live? Like literally pulls out a gun. And then finally, she finally admits that she, um, she does take a prescription medication, some benzos. So that's basically <clears throat> why her voice has been slurred. And she's made all of her videos private now. She just deleted the last live stream that she was on that that clip I just played for you all came from. It is disgusting. My grandmother and my grandfather both died of cancer. I mean, it hits close to, hits close to home for me too, you know? And I, all I did was I was emailing her alternatives for cancer so that she wouldn't have to go through chemo and radiation and all this stuff. And then she had the gall to tell me that I didn't know what I was talking about on the stuff that I emailed her on. You don't know what you're talking about. How dare you talk to someone that's just trying to help you? $850 worth of donations that she says she cannot she cannot give back at this moment because she's waiting on YouTube money. Most of those donations were made to her through PayPal. She actually did. She, she did admit that she, she lied. Um, she said, I'm sorry, I lied but she did not put cancer in the same sentence. Now, yesterday she actually said, um, she said, I don't have cancer. I think she said at one time. I think she likes this attention. Thanks, Mike, appreciate that. I think she likes this attention, honestly. Excuse me. She no, she she she's loving this. You type in Lady A on YouTube and you'll see all kinds of stuff. Well, she never admitted to being on any type of prescription before, but yet she admitted to being um or having agoraphobia, where basically she doesn't leave her house. And supposedly she was a pharmacy technician. For 15 years, that changed as well. It was pharmacist at first, which there's someone with her same name in her same state that is an actual pharmacist. And God only knows if she tried stealing her identity. And guess what she tried to do with me? Now get this. I was having trouble getting my insulin pump, right? She wanted me to send her my information so that she she has a way of getting things pushed through quicker. What all would she have to get from me to get that pushed through? She would need my name, my date of birth, my social, and my insurance information. I don't think so, Sunshine. No, she never got any of that information on me. I'm smarter than that. I did give her the benefit of a doubt, but I questioned very quickly. And that's why she got so upset with me because I questioned what she was pulling. And then in her live a while ago, she has, she's talking to this therapist on the phone, right? And the therapist was like, well, why did you choose cancer? And she couldn't answer. You know why she chose cancer? She chose cancer because she knew that would bring in the money. She knew it'd bring in the money. And that's sad. God forbid this woman ends up with cancer. She definitely needs our prayers. You know, I've took a, taken a step back. Somebody that does anything like this is obviously mental. Yes, and I said it, mental. 
her reasoning for telling people that she had cancer was because she has no friends and she didn't want her friends to leave her. She knew that if she told them she had cancer, that they would stick with her. Well, honey, guess what? You just lost every subscriber you had, I think, except for two. And those two subscribers that you've got are probably your sock accounts. How dare you? And you're still lying on me for trying to help you. All I did was try to help that woman. I love you, baby. <sighs> and then she brings her son into this. Do you know what she did? Oh. <clears throat> I'm not crying because I'm a wuss. I'm crying because I'm pissed. <laughs> And you all know me, this is how I get. <clears throat> she said that her son needed to give her a stem cell transplant. And that while the procedure was being done, all the nurses and doctors in the hospital could hear her son screaming. And she brought her 13-year-old son into this. That's pretty sad. And so while she was live yesterday, we were all like, where's your family? I mean, we thought that maybe she, I mean, she showed a gun on a, on a live stream. God forbid she would do anything to her family or herself. <sighs> this woman needs to get off of YouTube. She's done been reported to the authorities, and I pray that something's done. And she's still freaking lying on so many people, you guys. There's a woman named Mandy that she lied on because what did Mandy do? Mandy did the same thing that I did, was question her. She also lied on Marissa. And I think she's still lying about other things and God knows what else we know that we don't know about. And then she tried to say, okay, so that this was the, the only scam she's ever done. I'm sorry, but nobody's going to believe a word that comes out of your mouth, sweetheart. She's only showing 10. Okay. So vids are all on private now. Okay. We're talking about a woman that um, was basically in her bed, every stream laying there. Um, talking about herself. And no, she didn't have to ask for donations all the time, but she did. What's up, Hoax Wars? Oh my God, I'm so mad. I'm so upset. Her saying this is her first scam. Yeah, exactly. Is a scam in itself. Hey, delusion. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is me. You don't want to see me right now. I got no makeup on. I got tears coming down. Uh, I have a hat on. And I'm in a robe. So... Oh, you hush, Mr. T. Thanks. Stay strong. Appreciate it. I got baby Jesus in here. Thanks for telling me happy birthday. Mandy is a beautiful soul, and so is Stacy. And there's another channel out there called, I think, Barely There. You all need to watch that video. It broke my heart. It absolutely broke my heart. This woman is dying. This woman barely there. I think 
Am I right on the name of that being there? Thanks. Being there is the name of the channel. You go watch that video, you all. I'll try to put the link in the description. That woman stole my heart. And I was literally crying after I got through watching her. Because this lady that I'm speaking of was a mentor for this woman that is dying. And she cared for her. And I wonder how much strength it took for her to do that video. This woman is dying. It's just sad. You know, it shows that basically Satan is ruling this world so heavy. And I'm not trying to make this a religious thing by no means, but my God, people, open your eyes. And she had all three of my accounts blocked. So I couldn't even speak. Stay strong. I met a lady here online that completely disrespected me. And I tell you, people just want to grab a hold of what you got. Yeah, it is nasty out there. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. But regardless, if you're religious or not, please find a special spot for this woman. She, she needs all the prayers that she can get. And that channel, um, barely there. I can't even remember. I hate when I'm sick because I can't think straight. Being there, I'm sorry. Lucy's World, if you could put the link in the description for that video, please. So that people, hold on just a second. I got to mute. Sorry, guys. Mommy duties. I don't typically go live at this time. My son's just wants popcorn. Oh. Yes, Billy Bird, thank you. I got all kinds of snot and tears on my birthday. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to go get a Kleenex. I'll be right back. I got to tell you all what my son said, too, when I get back. Remind me. Stay away from it. Come on, Dose. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get your butt in here. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. I got a couple in case I get upset again. I'm pretty much done with that, but <clears throat> probably still should. <coughs> okay. So, um, Okay, so guess what my son said to me when I got home? He's like, happy birthday, Mom. He said, you're, I can't say how old I am. He said, you're such and such age, but you know what? You look like a 26-year-old adult. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh, really? Oh, I said, honey, you just made my day. <laughs> Oh, she did delete her vid. Oh, well, you know, I'm telling you what, that woman has just stolen my heart. I've added her to my prayer list. 
I'm not 52 Billy Bird Hush. Hey, I'll take 26. I will take it. I will take it. <sighs> yeah, so <clears throat> maybe this will be a big lesson for those people out there that try to scam people for money because I'm sure that um, she's going to be getting a knock on her door any day. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. I miss my 20s, too. Uh, yeah, I sound pretty old right now because I'm sick. So, no, I'm not 43. God. Oh, yeah. And listen to what my mom does today, right? So, I go over to my mom's to get the rest of my birthday. And she has my gifts in a bag. It says, over the hill. I'm like, I'm not there yet, okay? I might be close, but I'm not there yet. Yes, Kim. My name is Kim. And my name's already been put out there. Yeah. And it is doxing when somebody says your full name online, because guess what that leads to? That leads to people being able to find other information on you. So actually, when somebody says your full name online, that is a form of a dox. Am I am I wrong in this, people? It is doxing. Oh, they've got Lisa. I'm 39 for the 14th time. You're so sweet. When I'm 53 like you, let you know. Okay, Stack. Sounds good. Thank you. It's gaslighting. It's gang stalking. <clears throat> I'm not going to play that video, but I do want you all to go see it. As I'm sure if I watch it again, I am going to cry my eyes out like I did yesterday. Yeah, that's the link that, um, that Lucy's World is providing is the video that I was talking about that you all have to go see that the woman absolutely stole my heart. She gained trust compassion, feelings for this woman. And it broke her heart. And it took everything she had to make that video. So, I'm not trying to bash Miss A by no means. But let me tell you, I have been done wrong and I'm owed an apology. And she basically... Still yesterday, somebody asked her to tell the truth about me emailing her. She said, here's what she said. She's like, she did email my husband. Guess what I found out, Miss A? Your husband never even received those emails that were to you because you made up that email address and he never got them. So you got them and you just weren't responding. Yes, I found that information out. Yep. So, no, you are a liar. I never emailed your husband. I thought I was emailing you, trying to help you with cancer alternatives. She blocked me because I questioned the authenticity of her proof of chemotherapy, which was a saline bag dated for April of 2018, when she was just diagnosed of cancer in December 2018. Okay, so there is a big gap there, and all I did was ask her about it. I said, why is the bag dated for April if you were just diagnosed December? Well, guess what? She couldn't answer that because she never had cancer to begin with, but she does have low iron. She was getting iron infusions. That's what the saline bag was for. Online, not real people in my life. I, I don't associate with people like that in my real life, Paul. Well, I guess it would actually be real life considering that she did say my real name and she is a real person and she does live in the same state as me. So, yes, doxing means revealing your identity and your documents. She showed my full name 
which was on my email. And I don't care. People can know who I am. I have nothing to hide. That's not what this is about. What this is about is the fact that you have a woman that's saying she had cancer and that took $850 plus in donations and is not wanting to give it back. All you have to do is go to your PayPal and go to your received. Now, are you li I hope you're listening. Go to your received and hit refund. Or if you have to manually write everybody down and then hit send money and make sure you do friends and family when you're sending it to them so that they get their full refund back. Dan. Well, if you're looking in the window right now, you're not going to see me because I'm in the garage. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> so as you all know my uh, oldest Frenchie passed away and I want to give you all an update on that come to find out she was given five vaccinations seven months prior to her death right she was actually given those vaccinations one year early, one year too soon. The vaccinations are given at one year and then every three years after that. And so I'm pretty sure that that coronavirus or that corona vaccine that she got caused her to be ate up with, ate up with cancer. And the only reason I'm saying that right now is because I'm sitting here staring at my dog, right? And he, he has separation anxiety big time because uh i mean his mama was <clears throat> um his best friend and his mom and that's all he's ever known so if i leave the room he whines he has to be with me everywhere i go now if i have to go to town or something you know i have to put him in his cage which is a small cage it's not you know, so he feels comfort there. But listen to this. When he wants my attention, he will get up behind me. And I have to get this on film somehow or another. He wants my attention. He gets up behind me and takes my hat off. My ball hat. He just hurries up, puts his paw up there and like takes my hat off. As he knows, it irritates the crap out of me. Isn't that right, Dozer? I think I'm going to make Dozer his own channel because he is so funny. You all would love to actually see him in his daily activities even when he misbehaves right dozer because he's kind of derpy he's so cute ah dan if that's your way of saying i love you i love you too man you weirdo A lady doesn't tell her age. I never told my age. I'm not going to tell my age. No, Billy Bird, he's not crying right now. But he was earlier. He's so sweet, you guys. He keeps trying to get my Kleenex and chew it up. Stop it. Vaccines are racist. That's what I heard. <laughs> I lost my balls. Does that count for anything? Mr. T, if you don't behave, I'm going to have to time you out. Stop. What's wrong with telling age? Uh, a woman never tells her age. Thanks, Crip. Appreciate it. I'm going to do a, a live stream later and have some friends on. I'm just going to send the link to some certain peoples and we're just going to chill and have a good time tonight. Yes, yeah, exactly. She'll do it again in another form and she, Oh, another PayPal account. So guess what else I found out back in November on her videos, 
she listed a separate PayPal email address, which means a separate PayPal account. So it's just, it makes you wonder why on earth would this woman have to have more than one PayPal account? I mean, completely different email address. And then I found her Pinterest account thinking, you know, if she has cancer, surely to goodness. Oh, stop it, Mr. T. Surely to goodness on her Pinterest account, right? Like she would have um, something about cancer on there, right? Nope, 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 nope. Lots of no-bake cookies and casseroles and um, cooking and desserts and diabetes. She had diabetes, so on her Pinterest account. Hey, Bella. Thanks. Oh, no problem, honey. It, it's okay. I'm used to staying up late. I hope I was able to help you, though, Bella. Only cookies. Hmm. She also claimed to be a pharmacist. Yes. And then she came out and said she is a pharmacy technician. Of course, nobody's going to believe her anyways, right? Yeah, I found her Pinterest account, Claire. Pot cookies? Mmm. I've never had those. I will probably screw up the first couple times trying to get it. Well, just uh, give me a ring on Hangouts. I'll try to see if I can. It, it, usually, I don't know how you, if if Hangouts will let you screen share that. It might. I don't know. I tried doing a tutorial showing people how to to live stream, and uh, um, yeah, it didn't work out very well. Hold on just a second. Scare performance. I just sent you a link. So I'm not sitting here talking to myself. And just start this thing early. I don't know about all that, Bella. Not too smart for being able to fall for a manipulative, narcissistic woman. But I was catching on pretty quick. I'll say that. Nope. Surely not her first, not her last. That's right. Oh, somebody said pot cookies in here. I was just seeing what they said, or repeating what they said. Pineapple cheesecake. Oh, my gosh. That sounds amazing. I'd like the... Uh, I'm going to have to write that one down and make that. Mom, why don't you make me some pineapple cheesecake? <clears throat> okay, um, two pillars. I'll need your email address to add you on Hangouts, sweetheart. Or you can just go to my About Me on my YouTube page, get my email address, and type it into Hangouts under search, and you can add me there. No, you have to make me some. You're better at it. It'll taste better if you make it. Always better when your mom makes the stuff, right? Dan, get in here. I sent you a link, you goober. No, a good woman lies about her age. I'm 29. <clears throat> uh -huh. Forever.
What do you mean, Dean? Someone has a name. Just invite me. Yes, you're invited to the cheesecake party. I know I want some cheesecake. You guys. Oh, hush, mom. You old fart. That's what you get for giving me a bag. It says over the hill when I'm not there yet. How dare you? Hey, Barbara, I've seen you before. Welcome, sweetheart. I know you're 27, Kat. And you're beautiful. All of you all are beautiful. Even the men, sorry. Everyone's beautiful to me. Hey, Hoax Wars. I know, right? Like, my mom could even make spinach taste good. I was talking to my husband about that the other night. Never had the heart to tell her I didn't like it, but I ate it just to make her happy. Now, scared performance, I sent him a link. Make grilled cheese myself. It's garbage. Mom, five stars. Damn Skippy. Will you stop typing in the chat and get in here? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Oh, my gosh. Billy Bird, I don't have you on Hangouts. I'm not sending you a link. You're, you're a goober. No. No way out radio. Not over the hill yet, but close enough to see the top. Hey, Chew Toy, it's been a while since I've seen you in here. Oh, Lisa, I'm sure he's just messing with you, probably. No, uh-uh. Doopy doopy doo. <laughs> Goober. Yep, that's how it goes. Thank you, Billy Bird. I appreciate it. Ebro, what's going on? I, yeah, Kryptonian, I got you on that. I don't have no complaints. I'm just saying that much. Yeah, I know. Well, we just need to pray for her, John because it's it's uh it's she is beyond help, I think. No matter what this woman says, she's not going to be believed. No matter what she says, she can say sorry all day long. Even if people get refunds. I mean, that's the right thing to do is to is to send the people their refunds and an apology and just leave YouTube after that. I I didn't see the whole thing. My internet was going in and out, Barbara. It's probably a good thing. I was there long enough. Yeah, I sent you a link. I sent you a link. Book of Daniel. It's on your email, Dan. It went straight there. Let me do it again. <laughs> Okay, you're getting another link. It's probably calling you now. Thanks, cowboy. You got it, man. Raisinets. All right, Billy Bird. You got it. I don't think she will either. So this one woman made a video asking for her money back, and rightfully so. And she even told her, you can find my PayPal address here. And um, so she kept saying, and the, the scammer made a video, well, I'll refund her, but I need her, her PayPal address. I can't find it, even though it was listed on her channel. It, it, just deflecting. 
Yes. I call everybody a goober, Billy Bird. That's what guys are called, though? What do you mean? That's what guys are called. Darkstone Bender, what's going on? Hey, Casey. Thanks for the birthday wish, man. Even though you don't celebrate birthdays, I appreciate you telling me happy birthday, man. It means a lot. And tell B that I said thank you. <clears throat> She'll know what I mean. I sent it to Book of Daniel, you goober. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. All right. You're just trying to make me look like I don't know what I'm doing when I do. All right. Invitation posted one more time. Last time, bud. So I traded in my car on this other vehicle. Right. And uh, I'm just going to tell you guys, this thing has like a turbo engine in it. By the time I'm up to 90, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to slow down. It's got a 2.7 liter twin turbo. I'm like, heck yeah. Drive some, drive pretty fast in this thing. It's not brand new. It's used, but it's new to me. That's funny, Crypt. Yes, apparently there was a lady on YouTube lying about having cancer to get donations. And let's just say this, Casey, she's, she got $850 plus in donations so far, and she won't refund the money. She lied about having cancer, and she had just did this live stream saying sorry. And if you've seen it on my channel, that's the same woman that called me hussy trying to say I was emailing her husband when in all reality, I was only emailing her because that's the email she told me to email. She said, Oh, the emails in my PayPal. So that's where I got the email from. And then when I brought it to her attention after I got her other email address, I said, I wanted to let you know, I emailed that email address. And that's, I guess why I wasn't getting a response. And she laughed about it and said, well, this, that laugh out loud, that's my PayPal. This is my YouTube, hon. And then sent three purple hearts. And then had the gall to say that I wasn't welcome on her channel since day one. And still will not tell the truth about me emailing her. And she tried to say that. I wanted her husband. I wanted to get with her husband. She had the gall and the nerve to make up this huge lie and say that I told her husband, now get this, if anything ever happened to her, that I would be there for him, that I wanted him. And she called me a hussy. She made up this whole big story in her brain, just like the whole thing about her having cancer was a lie. So were the emails. And I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and not defend myself after she lied to three, four, five, six hundred people. Yeah, hussy. I hadn't heard that word in forever. Hussy. 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 Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not going to email someone's husband <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I was just trying to help her illusion shattered good afternoon sunshine hope all is well where you're at honey 
Okay, so I'm trying to think. I had something I wanted to go over. Y'all ever get brain fog when you're sick? I hate it. Buy two pillars. I'll, I'll catch you on Hangout Sunshine. I hate colds. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Do it yourself, camper. No, I don't stack. Why? Wow, what's up? He's not the one that's missing, the prepper that's missing, is he? Hold on, Dan. Two seconds. All right, there's the link, guys. And let me turn these notifications off. And my dog is snoring. What's up, Ron? Healthy living and other things. I made oregano oil veggie caps when I'm sick. I have oregano oil. I do. I, I forgot about it. I need to take it. And now my mom's going to yell at me. <laughs> Billy Bird, you're funny. Yes, he is still in jail, Casey. I pulled it up the other day. Yeah, we do need to do a follow-up. I can't find any more information, though, on the Liam Xmel thing. He was supposed to have had court, and I didn't hear nothing else about it. Federal crime, you're going to be in jail for quite a while. <clears throat> <coughs> I'll I'll dig into it a little more and see um see what I can find out guys. And if you all don't know who I'm talking about, that was the YouTuber that sent death threats to the CEO of YouTube and he was arrested for it. I'm going to send him a link. I don't know. Ron. I mean, it, it's my birthday it, the first day. No. Ron. Oh, my God. Okay, you muted. You goober. What's up? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Okay, you muted. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Sorry, sorry. Let me, let me <laughs> shut this down. <laughs> what's up? How you doing? You holding up all right? Uh, I'm feeling better sniffly, than I did. Miss Sniffles over here. Oh, my <sighs> God. I feel better than I did. You know, did. It's, it's like listening to you. I'm like, I'm checking my own. My own uh, temperature. I'm like, holy cow. Ugh. I feel sicker. <laughs> it wasn't a real high fever. It was only like 99. Yeah. Yeah. But my temp usually runs 97. So if I'm even running a 98 temp, I feel like I'm sick. You know, my right. temp is always like 97 sick. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. All right. Well, interesting. I didn't realize you were going to go live. I didn't plan on it. Mm. Did not well. plan on it. Oh my God. Mm. The hussy went live and I had to talk about it. The huss. I like, you know, you should just be known as the huss. No, stop <laughs> it. What? Oh, yeah. so they canceled school tomorrow. They did? Why? Wind chill. For wind chill? God, yeah. you guys a bunch of snowflakes up there in that state. Well, here's the thing. Okay. Oh my God. So wind chill. Wind chill. Man, I used to have to walk to Amen. school uphill that, no, listen, and back no. both ways. No, listen, you're the one that, With no that shoes. complains about being cold when it's like 40. Okay, so I don't want to hear it. 
<laughs> yeah, but this is Texas. We ain't used to the we ain't used to that that, that cold stuff. We ain't it's used to, up to twenty below. We, we freak okay. out when it snows below. down here, man. We're like, oh my god, look, look, it's snow. Have you what ever do you do with negative it? Negative twenty below wind chill. Uh -huh. Negative twenty below wind chill. Mm, I don't think we've ever had like negative below wind chill. Like unless it was like just barely. Like we've had it pretty low here before, but not that crazy cold. Not well, like here's the, here's the stipulations for them to close school for a wind chill advisory. It has to be anywhere from fifteen below negative fifteen below or higher or lower, and it has to be for so many hours. So this advisory is negative 15 to negative 20 below from like 5 a.m. till 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the whole time that they're in school. Mm -hmm. And it uh, as little as 30 minutes outside, which I think with those temperatures, it's less, you know, frostbite can actually start setting in. So I see. OK, well, these kids don't even realize they don't walk to school anymore. I know, right? So, like, I mean, like, what are they worried about? They're going to be in a car, know, and then they're going to get up, and they're going to have to what? Maybe run inside the class into inside the school. That's maybe about a mm, fifty feet, if be at best. And uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's shut the school. Huh? You think I should wait till tonight to tell them? Tell them like, what? after they're already in bed. Wait till they're already in bed, or you know, <laughs> tell them in the morning when they're getting ready. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I, I think knowing i don't know i mean it's up to you but if you want your kids to be totally on cloud nine you tell them as soon as possible uh, you know okay so wait listen to this i'm sure yeah. you'll be able to hear it hold on stay there dozer hey aiden guess what no school tomorrow <laughs> I told you. What did I say? I don't even have kids, and I already knew this. <laughs> oh, I, I knew he would overreact. Yeah. My hey. daughter, she would just be like smile and then walk off. Oh, man, I used to love. You know what's one I used to love, too, was a teacher in service day. I don't know what they were doing. They were probably partying without us is what they were doing. But, hey, yeah. it was fine with me. Whatever Those you girls want to do. learning days. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like one of those just crazy random, like we're taking a Friday off kind of thing. It's like, oh, love it. It was great. God, I hated school. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that kid is happier than anything. Goodness gracious. He is. I love you. Yay. <laughs> you know what you should do next time? Say, you could use it as a bartering chip. You realize that. You can be like, listen, if you clean the living room for mommy and scrub the bathtub and maybe, you know, do the floors. Okay. And maybe some laundry. You can stay home from school. Oh, you my get, God. Yeah. You, 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 you could do that. <laughs> and he yeah. wouldn't know the difference. He'd be like, mom is the coolest. And I love doing do laundry. Do? Mom, oh, do I need to add bleach to the whites, mom? I should have done that. Daggone it. <laughs> or I could tell him, hey, if you yeah. don't do this for me, then I'm going to go ahead and take you to school tomorrow. Because the kids that live close to school, they have to go. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like lying to my kids. So, you know. Well, no, you're not lying. You're just, you're, you're telling them they're going to have a day off. You know, mm -hmm. you tell them why they're having a day off. You just assume mom is just deciding you don't have to go to school. It's not necessarily lying. You never, you don't tell them that. You just say, you don't have to go to school tomorrow if you do this. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm wrong, right? Like I don't know. Maybe I maybe there's a reason why I don't have kids. I don't know. Uh, you be a, you'd be a good daddy. Yeah, um, yeah. so I pulled my son's one of his molars out the other day. It Where's was like floor? hanging by a thread. Oh, did you grab the pliers? No, do I just it, do it country Kleenex. style. I just grabbed a Kleenex and pulled it. I I said I was gonna count to five and I just counted to three. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you didn't do the old like tie the string around the the door and slam I did the door my daughter one time did you really yes i did, did that work it did really mm -hmm. i just wonder it was what do you use fishing line what do you yeah. use i used floss floss really floss yeah. held up to that huh yeah that sucker must have been just hanging by a thread then 
Well, I didn't have the door shut very like, you know, she was kind of close to the door. So oh, I just, right. you know, but yeah, I used floss. Oh, I don't know. I don't even think I had any fishing line. Like he had it up on the shelf where I couldn't reach it. So yeah. short stuff. Huh. Do your kid do the tooth fairy thing? Or are you like, well, here's the thing. You tap so, out on that. So I was always in the habit. Last time one of my kids lost a tooth. Well, my son. Mm-hmm. You know, my daughter's 14 now. So I don't remember last time she lost a tooth, but my son's 10. So he lost. And the last time he lost a tooth, I'm sure he was pretty small. I don't remember when, but Tooth Fairy was still around then, right? So I yeah. automatically put the tooth in a Ziploc baggie, preparing it for the Tooth Fairy. Sure. And, and my husband's like, What are you doing? I'm like, Stop it. He's like, Tooth Fairy don't exist. I'm like, yeah, I oh know. <laughs> Let me enjoy the moment for a second. Okay. I miss my kids being young. I don't know what age I was when I learned about Santa. I think I was still in California when I got told the news. I got the memo. And it was like, but I got everything all at once. It wasn't like one at a time. Some parents choose to, you know, knock off the the easiest ones first, like the tooth fairy, break it to them slowly. No, man. My parents are like, look, we got to tell you something. Everything that we've told you so far is a lie. It's probably why I'm a conspiracy theorist. Probably. It's probably what happened. I was like, holy crap. You had me totally snowballed. You're telling me there's no, there's no Santa. There's no Easter bunny. There's no, no, really? I'm like, hmm. And then I just looked at it like, well, that's cool. At least I know who to hit up for the rest of the year on the toys that I really want. Like if it's mom and dad, I'm thinking I can work this. I can do this. So, you know what? But they told me straight up, like, and and it was kind of cool because then I felt like I was in the Illuminati. Like I had some sort of secrets. Like that my how sister, like my sister didn't have. So like, and then and me and the older kids were like, hey, you know about, oh, you know about the dude in the red suit, right? Uh-huh. Like, yeah. And we had our own like special code, you know, that we couldn't tell the little kids. So we felt all superior. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, that was cool. That was cool. Back <laughs> <in the day. laughs> Here's what's weird. Okay, so me and my sister, like, she's two years older than me, so I had to have been, like, five. Her, She would have been seven, right? Christmas Eve, we stayed the night at my grandmother's house, and we both had the same dream of seeing Santa in the sky. And we, I I mean, it seems so real that, like, I literally still think to this day I saw something in the sky. And how the heck did my sister have the same dream that I had? Like it was so freaking weird, and it looked like this cartoon flying in the sky. It was literally like a cartoon. It was. I still look either, at either you guys had place. some sort of weird dream premonition, or you both were abducted by the same aliens. Something. Something. I don't know. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. Could be. Could be. I Could know. be. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of things wrong. But that's okay. We'll we'll try to we'll work at them. We'll work on it one 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 issue at a time. Okay, that's why we're here for you. Thanks. Yeah, I know, right? What are friends for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that <laughs> so so great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. I was like, I was, dude. I was, I was using my best jokes. Did you hear? Did you see what I said about doxing? No. Oh, come on. Come on, Kay. What'd you say? I said, I didn't know doxing meant like what you said it was. I thought it meant like raising wiener dogs. Mm. Oh, see? That's good stuff, man. That's a choice. I was trying to make you smile because you were crying earlier. Uh, I I couldn't handle it. I was losing it. I was like, wait a minute, man. Why why are you getting all emotional? Well, I thought this was going to be. I get pissed. Oh. Yeah, I get very upset. You know, when I'm mad, when I start crying. Yeah, oh, it's something I. It's always been that way. Always. Been that I way. got booed. Like, stop crying. Your audience is booing me right now. They don't. I don't think some of them don't like the doxing. doxing. Yeah. Hey, look, look. Hey, hey, look. You know what? I got more, baby. I'm here all week. Don't don't make me all start week pulling long. Out joke. I'm here all week. I got more jokes. <laughs> don't tell them that. <laughs> I know. I know. Right? It, yeah. If you boo at that one, you just get another joke. All right, so you better you better start clapping. All right, be like, damn, Dan, that one joke was awesome. Dozer, stop eating the Kleenex. Hey, I think I found a Mandela effect. What? Kleenex. I think it was K L E N E X. 
No, too. Yeah. Weird. No. I I found I found residual. Stop. Stop. I found proof. Where in the papers? Yeah. Oh. And even online, go if you Google it, man. Oh man, it's crazy. It's like, and then I found some weird Asian video that was clean. It spelled Kleenex with one e, but I don't know if that's actually legit. But it is the weirdest video I've ever seen. Like seriously, it's the weirdest commercial, it and it's a Kleenex commercial. Like, what in the hell? It would be Kleenex. 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 <laughs> Kleenex. <laughs> well, maybe it's maybe it's Kleenex in Stop in, in, them. in I France. Them. Stop. I can them. see the French being like, "Pass me a Kleenex." Kleenex. Daniel. Daniel, I want a Kleenex. Daniel, hey. ask me Kleenex. Kleenex. Well, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it could be right. I mean, that or, you know, Noble thinks to, he says, it might be K-L-E-E-N-X. Like, he, uh, this looks over Eid. I got to be honest with you. It looks over Eid. All right. No, I'm not sure. It's so did for Breeze, but then we found out the name changed. So. Well, yeah. Well, well, there you go. But, well, no, for Breeze lost E, sweetheart. Yeah, the name changed. They actually yeah. changed it themselves. And no, they didn't. It. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. What? No, yeah. they did not. No, uh -huh. no, they didn't. Yeah, you put it in the chat the other day. You Bull. No, listen, Goophead. Uh -huh. No. Don't That's why we can find residual on it. There has been all kinds of residual of 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 Febreze with the two E's. Oh my it was, gosh. It's not for Braz, it's for Breeze. Fancy Kleenex for the fussy hussy. Uh, Shana. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Quick call it Kleenex. Uh, you, you're just you're poo-pooing all over my Mandela effect, Dan. Yeah, because I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay, fine. I just thought me I mentioned Kleenex not, earlier. No, it's not, it's not a Mandela effect because you're a whatever. Neighbor. You know what? You're just that in Mandela denial. I can't help that you're in denial. You know, I'm not on denial, denial on most things. Most of the word changes, mm -hmm. you know, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like them. Well, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, you know, to upset your sensitivities. <laughs> my Mandela effects. Some of them, some of them are pretty good, but some of them, I'm like, you know, I don't even know how to spell anymore because of it. Oh, I, I don't know anymore. Everything you ever well, knew. I, I don't, I don't buy, I don't buy it. I, I like, like, I'm sorry. Like when I start seeing these changes, I'm like, no, like there's been a lot. I mean, I got proof, man. There's no way. Like when I, it, what was the one that got me the other day when I said bizarre. All right. Bizarre. B I Z Z A R E. Okay. That's the way it was bizarre. But now it's B I Z A R R E. Like, buzz <laughs> like no, it was not bizarre. Eh? bizarre. No. Not bizarre. No. Kryptonian says Georgia. Georgia has a Grand Canyon now. Yeah, he I, I think that's um and, and you know what I can't speak on that because I, I saw the video. I'm like, well, he's he claiming it has a Grand Canyon. I I don't think it was like as big as a Grand Canyon, though. I think that it's it's a little smaller. But I I don't know because I've never been through Georgia enough to tell to know if that was something that was already there you know i don't i'm not sure i'm not sure about that one i, I don't know I've been I through georgia i don't i don't know if i've been through georgia maybe a little bit of it i went to dallas i drove to dallas well i didn't drive to dallas but i you drove to dallas i went to dallas oh did you what'd you come yeah. to dallas for um my mom was dating this guy and he had to go pick oh. up kids and so i drove along and that was the longest drive of my entire life. Well, <clears throat> hey, you know, the whole way there, like that? nothing, nothing to see the whole drive there, like nothing but just fields of nothing. Fields of nothingness. <laughs> well, it wasn't because of Texas. It was because you're driving through, I don't know, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma is like mm -hmm. barren. Oh, yeah. I mean, Oklahoma looks like the moon. Seriously, with with maybe with a little right? bit of grass. No, seriously, Oklahoma looks like the moon. It's like there's literally not. It's just open prairie. That's what it is. It's it's very yeah. It's a very boring drive through Oklahoma. That so and let me uh, ask you. Let me yeah. ask you just while What's you're up? on here. What do you think about this whole cancer scam thing? I mean, seriously, like that's a federal. Uh, yeah, I think it's 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 really crappy. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's it doesn't surprise me considering the world we are in right now that people would lie uh, to um, for attention um, and for whatever excuse she had, you know, but 
I think it's really sad that people take advantage of of people's good natures. And I think that, you know, we have to remember though, it's, you know, to, you know, we have to use discernment, but remember, it's not very many people that would try something like this. And we shouldn't like throw the baby out with the bathwater. There's a lot right. of good that happens and a lot of people that that help other people out there. And mm -hmm. and you shouldn't be, you know, persuaded not to help others if right. you feel the need to do it. Um, right. because ultimately, yes, she's absolutely wrong. And she'll have to answer for that. You know, that's just terrible. I mean, I don't know how you can be a good person. We're talking about a woman that would not say the F word on her screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> so have a therapist on her live stream. <laughs> yeah. right? And yeah. so her therapist told her to repeat something or I don't know. She, I, I'm not going to say therapist. I'm just going to say maybe friend that had like a, maybe a master's in psychology that was on the phone with her. Okay? okay. I can't say that she was a therapist, but she basically told her to repeat something. Right. <clears throat> and uh, she said, you want me to say the F word? I'm okay. like, Oh my word. You won't yeah. say the F word, but you're going to lie to 800 plus people. Or no, I'm sorry. Like 1200 people. And keep keep it going that you have cancer. Well, yeah, that's you know those are the type of people that are just you know like you know they're just they're just crappy. I mean, I mean, why would you you know it's like she she wants to portray an image, but she's lying, right? And she admitted to lying. Is that yes, what you're telling me? She no. did yesterday. She did oh, a lot, of and she actually finally said because everybody had done caught on to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she said. You're you all are right. I, I don't I don't have cancer. Oh, and good I, Lord. you know, and today she wouldn't say it because people had already warned her, hey, that's a federal offense. So she was trying to watch her words. Uh huh. But you know, she she was like high on benzos yesterday, so that's probably why she said it. Oh boy. Mm -mm. Well, you know, um Trauma doll, I think is what she said she is on. Tramadol? Tramadol is what she said she takes. Oh, Tramadol. Isn't yeah. that isn't that uh like a, a pain medication? Tramadol? Yeah, tramadol is a pain medication, but it's like it's a very mild form of pain medication. Is that for so, panic attacks though? Uh, I, mean, I don't think so. I think I it's more for so, pain, yeah. like for it's the stuff they give you when they don't want to give you uh, opiates. They mm -hmm. give you tramadol instead. And it's um, you know, it's got a I think a, a very, very mild opiate effect, like where you can't I don't think it's anything you can really necessarily get addicted to. I think any of that medication you can if you take enough of it, but anything but it's it's very it's highly it's right, highly yeah. yeah the chances are you're not going to get addicted to tramadol, but you know people can I guess, but um, yeah it's it's what they give you like the mild form of stuff. They don't want to prescribe other things, and it's getting harder these days for doctors to prescribe anything really like pain wise. So yeah, tramadol is uh, widely used now in place of uh, opiates. Yeah, it is. They now considered it a mild narcotic now. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and like I said, it's very, very mild. I don't think it's anything, you know, uh, big time. I had uh, prescribed some when I went to the dentist and they gave me some of that. It was like nothing, you know, it's mm -hmm. no big deal. Right. Yeah. So um wasn't like there was no side effects or anything like that. So that's, you know, that was good. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah. More so I don't need to prescribe that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I think that's um that would be beneficial, you know, for, for that. And I like I said, I think it works pretty good, but um, you know, um I don't know how it works, honestly. You know, I like, don't know about how that would work uh, on tooth pain though. I mean it, it's supposed to really pain, is, so tooth pain is like up there, kind of like they say, here's what they say, mm. that there's no pain medicine that will take care of eye pain. Did you know that? Like if you have eye pain, like say you get stabbed in the eye, oh. there's nothing that will relieve that. Oh, really? Could you imagine? No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. I had, a, uh, I had gotten like, I had scratched my eye once. You know, yeah, I did contact. too. And, mm -hmm. and like, I guess the contact was like dirty or whatever. And it scratched, you know, I had some, right. I, I blinked and it just, ah, so it just caused a lot of pain. That, and, uh, that does hurt. And, and I, they gave me some light too. They gave, oh, it was terrible. I kept saying, bright light, bright light. I felt oh. like, you know, 
It was awful. <laughs> it was awful. And I, took, I went to the, I went to the emergency room for that. And they gave me some, first he numbed the eye, which was weird with these drops to look mm -hmm. at it. And then they put this dye in there and they, they looked at the eye and make sure it was all right. And then they gave me some other, some stuff to put in there, some drops, but yeah, it was painful. It was like just awful. There's really nothing they could do for the pain. And Happy so birthday, Autumn. Autumn Kite says her birthday was yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. I didn't. I, I, well, I thought Autumn, I don't know if Autumn was in my uh, live stream or not, but I uh, thought maybe she was, but man, I don't know. But if she missed it, I, I, I tried to call her. It was Ouch. birthday. Scratch cornea. Yeah. Uh, uh, Abba's girl said scratch cornea. Scratch cornea. Ow. Yeah, uh, that's what happened to me. Uh, my sister punched me in the eye when I had a contract in. She punched you in the eye? Uh -huh. I, I didn't know you had a sister. Yeah, she's, oh. two, she's two years older than me. She's oh, is she? Half, she's my half-sister. Uh huh. Oh, your half-sister. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where does she live? she live around you? Yeah. Oh. You guys still a tussle from time to time? No, that was the first and only fight we had. Well, she used to beat up on me when we were little. But uh, uh, then you started to learn to bite her, right? It, she bit me all the damn time. <laughs> I had bite marks on me, and my news, my news, my knees would be all bruised up. I was getting ready to say news breezed. <laughs> you know, switching my words around, you know. Oh, uh, anyways, yeah, like my knees would have all kinds of bruises on them because she'd hit uh, me all the dag on time. She I would tattle tell on me for every little thing. Like I, we had a chalkboard one time, and I wrote the word D A M. You know, and she's like, Mom, Kim's writing cuss words. I'm like, I did not. <laughs> that <laughs> old damn. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you were just saying, hey, it's, it just yeah, it, it holds a body of water. What's the big deal? <laughs> I remember I did. You know, it's funny. I did the same word got but me in trouble. Well, not in trouble, but actually the teacher yelled at the class because um, they, she was they asked a the question. They said. You know, they ask the class. I'm a smart kid, right? You know, I'm not smart, but, you know, I'm just, I'm always thinking ahead, you know, thinking outside the box. So the, the teacher asked, hey, what, 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 name some, you know, some bodies of water, you know, and people are naming lakes and streams and whatever. And I went, damn. Yeah. You <laughs> and all the kids were like, oh my God, he said, damn. And the teacher was like, you know what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of fun because I actually, you know, she stuck up for me at that point. And, yeah, but uh, but she was actually looking for more natural mm -hmm. know, occurrences, not uh, man-made. Mm -hmm. So whatever, my 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 answer didn't count. But uh, yeah, that dam will get you. Something. You have to write your name on the board. No, I never had to had to do that. Never. Now see, no, we just had detention when I was growing up. Oh, you know? we had to write our names on the board. Write your name on it, like keep you writing never your heard name. Oh. No. In elementary school, if you got in trouble, we had to, our either we would do it or our teacher would write our name on the board. Like, and that about, meant what? What was that supposed to do? If I got my name on the board, I'd be like, "That is my name in lights." I would have been in trouble all the time. <laughs> I'd have been like, "Dude, are you kidding me?" There's my name, woohoo! You know, like I, woot, woot. Garden, I got my <laughs> name on the board because I was speed reading. The, the teacher kept getting after me like I would put my finger over the words and hurry up and speed read and act like I was done like I got done with it before everybody else and yeah it, she wrote my name on the board and I think I started crying like a little baby oh, like I, I said I said I, I really read it and she's like uh -uh, no you didn't and I'm like yeah. yes I did <laughs> I um I was just always like they thought there was something wrong with me when I was growing up. I, I like I just really couldn't like you know I, I I'm sorry I just went to school and I was just like I don't really see the point. <laughs> like like I really needed like more coaxing. I mean I don't know what it was about school and me. I just I really was like this is just really wasting like my playtime outside. Um, I could be doing a lot more creative things than sitting at school and learning this gibberish um number one and uh you know and so they thought like there was something wrong with me like they were like we we need to test dan we need to figure out if he's you know he's special or something and um no i took the you test and i i know i'm special i know this but i took the test and i passed it with flying colors like no they're like your kid's totally fine he's uh, <laughs> he's mm. actually smarter than he than than we think he was uh than we yeah. thought he was uh in fact he just 
we don't know what he just he's just not interested in doing the work oh, you know <laughs> what? but sad. ultimately he's fine i mean that's it's like a sad thing these days though yeah. because teachers think that these kids have learning disabilities automatically yeah. think so and what it is is they're not interested it's boring oh it it was it was uh, it was brutally boring for me like mm -hmm. i i'm sorry i'm the kind of kid that liked like, okay, in science class, we could read the book about it, blah, 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 and then regurgitate what we learned, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I was terrible at that. I just didn't want, I was like, oh, but if we were learning an experiment, like where you throw potassium in water and mm -hmm. shit explodes, I'm like, okay, that interests me. How is that happening? Why is there a chemical reaction? See, it's like that type of thing. But, you know, I don't even think teachers are being allowed to teach like that anymore. Like it's even more so about the testing than it ever was. Oh, yeah. No child left behind, you know? Well, here's the so. thing is if a kid say is autistic or if they have any type of learning disability, mm -hmm. what they want you to do these days is go to the doctor and get a diagnosis. And as long as they have that diagnosis on paper, that kid's test scores do not count. That's why they keep pushing all these kids, you know, oh, you, your kid has a learning disability. You need to, uh, oh, this kid's that, or this kid's that, you know. I wonder how many kids have to go to the office these days to take a pill, get through school. I don't know. I mean, I'm saying for something, mm -hmm. for either attention deficit disorder or right. something, you know. Yeah. I just wonder how many kids are medicated. I, I would love to know the percentage of children... Uh, in grade school, were taking medication to get. They tried school. to tell me my son had learning disabilities. Oh yeah. And I had him on this IEP program to where he would get extra help because at one time, yes, I did have him on a prescription, but I since woke up, took him off that crap, right? And so last school year, the teacher was like, "I know we discharged him, but." I think he needs to be back on it. And do you know what her main reason was for it? His personality, his right. maturity level. I'm like, he's a boy. They're not going to mature as quick, A. And B, you're telling me because my son had the runs because he stood up in class and said, I got to go poop and ran out the door. His maturity level is messed up? <laughs> well, there seems not to be a, um, yeah, well, seems to run in the family. Shut up. But <laughs> I don't think my subscribers know about that. <laughs> well, you were willing to share it on my stream. So, uh, yeah. You so, know, hey. Um, hey. Anyways, his anyway, first card for this all school right. year had oh, all A's and B's. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, no learning disability here. I think he's just. I, I have a theory about some of these special education programs. Like, what they do is um they ask these teachers right that like you know have college degrees and they're you know they, they they're well, very well meaning don't get me wrong they really are but what i learned as a kid what i saw was it was me and about two other kids maybe three other kids that were in this program because remember i was a the kid who wouldn't do his homework so you know i just didn't care about school so they put me in a special course and i and i sat there and i wanted to get out of it so I was like, fine, I'll buckle down because I felt like I was in prison, but it was like a good prison because there was a lot of a reward for doing your work. Like they gave you candy and there was, a, you know, like, you know, a positive stimulation for, you know, doing uh, what they asked, which was great because number one, I got candy and two, I was motivated to get the hell out of there. So all these, all these, I remember taking like all these uh, freaking tests, man. And I was, I was acing them acing them acing them and i'm thinking i'm gonna be out of here in a week they're gonna see that i don't need to be here like this is just a big misunderstanding right right well they wouldn't let me out what? i mean they wouldn't let me out koki you're driving me crazy boy koki what are you doing oh, really you hear my dog lapping yeah. it up i swear uh -huh. okay so i'm sitting here taking i'm At taking these tests and i'm passing man i'm like Look, I'm obviously not that dumb, people. I'm just, I, I'm just, I, I'm a great actor. I'm playing. I mean, it, I really didn't mean to get in to like, you know, grade school hell. Right. I mean, please let me out. Did you zone off a lot as a kid? Oh my God. I was drawing all the time and I was like, I didn't care. I was like, bah, in my own little world. Yeah, I mean, that's where I was. But, you know, it wasn't so much. It's not because I was stupid. It was just because I just the, the way the curriculum was set up, it just wasn't 
it wasn't enough to make me uh, focus on it. Like it wasn't, it wasn't challenging Uh-oh. enough. I don't know what it was it, for me. It just didn't work. And I was terrible. I was a terrible student and I admit it, but at the same time, I mean, I look, you're talking about a kid who like, when I buckled down, I didn't like attention. Like, okay. So for like, I had this issue. It was really weird. Like, so one day I decided I'm going to study. I'm going to, I'm up for a spelling test every spelling test that we took on Friday, I got a hundred on for like six straight weeks, a hundred, a hundred, hundred. And everyone was like, all the kids were like, dang, like, dang, Dan is, a, and see, and I didn't like that attention. I didn't want to be different. Oh, dude, don't, ah, uh, no, no, no. I don't want, I don't know why I was so against that. I was like, I just want to blend. Don't, you know, I don't want to be smart. I don't want to act smart. I'd rather be, you know, just the boy that wants his name on the board. I'd rather, yeah, no, like, like I'd want attention for being like, for saying something or like maybe doing something I get as you. Far as, different as far as, you know, yeah. an outcast. But I don't not, know what my deal yeah. was. No, I had issues. You want good attention. You wanted the I, bad attention. I wanted bad attention. Yes. Yeah. I had a demon inside me or something. Oh I don't know. Gosh. No, seriously. I don't know what was wrong with me, man. I, I just, I'm just telling you the truth. Like I went to that class. And stupid man, and I told my mom, please get me out of it because it was so embarrassing. Because I didn't like that attention because I had to get up during the middle of the day and go somewhere. You know, again, it mm-hmm. was making me feel isolated. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to feel I wanted to feel like I was just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. That was the thing, is that the way they did it, it was like you have to get up during the middle of class and leave. And where is where am I going? You know, so you know where the, did you go? That's where mm-hmm. I went. I went to that special classroom so that I could. Uh, do their math problems oh wow yeah and it was weird because you have to get up in your peers and leave and everybody knows you're leaving and of course they're wondering where you're going of course you know what they start to think they think the worst they think oh he's he's you know yeah staying, well, you know. I didn't like that that special attention either like yeah for instance when i turned diabetic it was sixth grade right and every friday we'd have coke and popcorn right well Right after I turned diabetic, I would take 50 cents with me every Friday to get a Coke. Well, because I was the only one getting Diet Cokes, the teachers were giving me free Cokes. And I was like, "Uh uh-uh, no, I want to pay for the Cokes just like all the other kids. Mm. Because I have to drink diet, I already feel different anyways. You know, Mm -hmm. let me pay for my Cokes. Right. You know, I'm like, if you want to give me diet, give me Diet Slice. (laughs) You know, but uh, anyways... Uh, yeah, I think that's the main thing. Like when you're when you're like when you're a kid, and um, you know if they if they're really worried about like um, bullying, and they're wor- really worried about you know all that kind of stuff, it's just put all the kids on evil playing field. You know, just yeah. don't just don't try to separate anybody like that in front of everybody because ultimately, you know, kids can be really rough. Well, you know, yeah. they can be really mean, and and that was the thing is like you know growing up like that because in feeling. Like they were trying to help me, but in the long run, into my peers, they were making it yeah, ex- excruciating for me. I didn't and, uh, either. And yeah. um, another thing, too, is every day at 10 o'clock, mm-hmm. this was like two hours before lunch, mind you, I had to eat a snack regardless. It was a certain type of insulin that I was on where I didn't have to take a shot before lunch either. And technically, my pancreas was still working at that time and I didn't know it. But, anyways, the insulin killed it. But, uh, yeah, every every day at 10 o'clock, I'd have to go out in the hallway and eat, mm-hmm. um, like, drink apple juice and eat some peanut butter and crackers or something, you know, right. like, starches, proteins, and fruit. And, you know, I'd have to leave class to go do that. And, you know, peanut butter is kind of, you can't really eat that stuff fast. Right. So, you know? You can't. Oh. Not really. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of you gotta sort of you know. It sucks. <laughs> I had to go out in the hallway every day and freaking eat a snack, and I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah. they make you go out to the hallway and eat yeah. a snack. Yeah, I have to oh, go to the hallway. Jeez. And, and then you had to do it in front of all your yeah. So, you know, you know that you know people. It's just, it's just yeah. When they do it like that, uh, you would have thought they could have done it a different way or something, right? Yeah. Like maybe a little more. You know, incognito. Well, at that time, not many kids were diabetic, mm-hmm. you know, and and this day and age, you've got a lot of school children that are diabetic. You know, it just makes you wonder all the diseases, whatever it is, is actually growing in numbers. 
You got we all, had a and kids are actually turning diabetic at two years old now and younger. We had a kid in our class that she had seizures, you know, mm. and uh, the the teacher was so good. Like what she did was when the, when the little girl wasn't there, she didn't bring it up. We were supposed it was just something she wanted to tell us about her. And she told us about the seizures and explained to us, you know, there, something might happen. Don't be afraid. You know, all this kind of stuff. And sure not. I mean, sure shit. Like two days later, girl was sitting behind me and uh, we were getting up to leave. Most of the class had already left the classroom. I was sat at the back of the class. So I was left last. But um, yeah, girl, you know, started having a seizure. And I was like, oh, my God. So uh, I grabbed her and I secured her on the way down. And remember, now I'm in like fifth grade when this happened. Mm -hmm. And we were all calm about it. Like it wasn't a big deal because the way the teacher ex you know, explained it to us and uh, nobody was freaking out. Like if we hadn't known about it, we'd be like, oh, my God. But we, she kind of explained what might happen. And so that was good, you know, that she did that so that we could um, handle the situation as best we could for being kids. So, you know, there's only a few of us left in the classroom that saw it, and we stayed with her until she was all right. You know? Aww, that's yeah. Sweet. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I mean, they do, I mean, there's some things, you know, that happen that, you know, are unfortunate. And I think teachers mean well, but I think it's really sad that, um, you know, in our society today that they've taken away all the create, the, the creative um, abilities of, of good teachers out there that, uh, just want to be able to teach children and, um, you know, and um, not do anything else. Well, mm -hmm. it's just it's just sad because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people get into teaching because they feel a calling to do it. And uh, they've taken away uh, all the, you know, anything creative from the teachers. Um, I've talked to many of them, you know, who, who now who are just like, I can't stand this no child left behind, um, you know, doctrine. I, mm -hmm. we, we, you know, they hate it. They hate it completely because it's all about um, just getting them. It's all about teaching them what's going to be on the testing and getting those test scores up so they can get their money. Yeah, exactly. Schools are living off this money. And, I hate uh, it. I hate it because that common core, technically it was supposed to be abolished in my state, uh -huh. but um, they never abolished it completely. And I'm like, really? I thought it was voted on to be abolished. Like literally they were supposed to actually, they changed it to Kentucky standards, something mm. Kentucky standards. And so I was wondering why my kid's website for their school hadn't changed the standard to what it's supposed to be. Right. And I called and asked about it and they're like, no, common core is still in effect. I'm like, huh? Really? Yeah, because there for a while I was actually able to help my son with his own work. And now, you know, two plus two equals five, right? Um, I hope not. It's crazy. This common core math stuff, you cannot. If you have kids in school, you cannot help them with their stuff. They're completely, it, it, it's crazy. You'd have to actually see videos on this one teacher that actually speaks up. And then you've got parents that speak up and... Okay, so you have like a regular math problem and they can uh -huh. do it the old way and then the answer's wrong because they didn't do it with the new equations that they've made up. And Bill Gates is actually... Uh, I don't understand. Explain to me. Yeah. Okay, help me. I don't have kids. So explain uh -huh. to me what you mean by two plus two equals five. What the hell are you talking okay, about? Okay, so the way that we were taught in school how to do math, you've yeah. got your standard uh, addition, subtraction... Uh, and yeah, I can't even freaking explain it because I don't know. They have to do okay. So you've got your your one, two, three, four, and then five. Your your hashtags or whatever they're called. Uh -huh. What are they called? Where where you gotta um, you know, make the little marks, tally marks. Okay. Like the kid to get like a simple equation of say one hundred minus one. Uh -huh. You would regular do it the you know nine the subtraction over, right. add make it a ten minus blah blah okay. blah. No. Okay. They literally would have to do like you know ninety nine hashtags. There's no carrying, no more carrying of numbers, that kind of thing. I don't know what they're freaking teaching. <laughs> I can't even explain it. Well, and, you know, it's it's beyond my comfort. I guess I'm just dumb. Somebody it's sent me a, I, I, you know, here that that know exactly okay. what I'm talking about. I, I think I well I don't oh, know for sure. Right, you can't you cannot explain it. 
Okay. Uh, here, my here's... oldest son was 11th grade level math, third grade. His gifted and talented teacher couldn't even understand how to solve the problems. Exactly. Well, here's what I noticed. Somebody sent me a book. Now, this was some weird testing they did uh, with about 50,000 students uh -huh. back in the 1980s. And it was like these weird math problems, man. It was like really crazy. And I don't, I mean, I'm looking at the book. They sent me this book. They're like, Dan, take a look at this. I came across this and uh, it's not Mandela related or anything like that, but it's uh -huh. just something I thought <clears throat> you might want to share one time on your broadcast. So I'm looking at this book and it's like, so it's got four squares and a number inside the square. And then you have to like visualize what that problem would be, what, what, the, what the outcome of that is based mm -hmm. off the number inside the square. And then you have to like sort of use the idea that each square means like 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. And plus multiply that number. You know what I'm saying? And come right. up with the yeah, actual, it's kind of stuff that. like that. It's like yeah. really weird. It's, and, and it's like, you know, I kind of remember these problems a little bit when I was a kid, but we didn't go into it as, as in depth. Well, as they few. gave them to us as like a challenge question. You know, right. like at the end of a worksheet or something like that, like a, a trick question or challenge. But now all the questions are like, this. I just don't know what their point is in making these problems like this. Cause it doesn't, I mean, see, this is where I, this is what I, I went through. Right. Okay. This is my issue growing up with all everything in school was like, I wanted to know when and how I would apply the particular subject matter to life. Meaning like, okay. okay, I will be more than happy to do this problem. Explain to me how this calculation mm -hmm. is going to help me mm -hmm. in life. How is it going to increase? Because ultimately what I'm thinking is I'm going to forget how to do this mm -hmm. unless I apply it to something. For You know what I'm saying? Like so I wanted to some way. meat and potatoes right. results or at least, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, some sort of satisfactory example as to how I could apply this equation. And don't just make me do the equation. Tell me how I can use this equation in my life. Mm -hmm. That's seriously what my thought, pro like I was so dude, I was trippy as a kid. Like I used to think about stuff. I remember one time the kids were acting up in school, you know, they were going crazy. We had a substitute teacher. She lost control of the classroom. Like that shit was crazy. And all the kids were feeding off each other. I don't know if we were all high in sugar or what and now i was sitting in the back and i wasn't even i wasn't even like i was i was feeling for the teacher i actually was like damn this sucks like all the kids are yelling and everyone oh, wow. just feed you know it was weird it was like you know because our one teacher who was like a like she was like a nazi like she was like totally like you know you do it you cross all your t's you dot all your i's and you get your stuff over here you drop off your papers you bow to me and you walk away you know mm -hmm. that's kind of how she ran the class so once we didn't have her there was just this release of like yeah like anarchy well that's what happened right but i'm watching all these kids and my thought process was this is happening because too many children are growing up with single parent families <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is third yeah. grade like this is my mindset in third grade i'm thinking yeah you know i think it's i think i'm seeing this 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 trend happening where there's there's too many single parent families and these kids they don't have their moms at home and they're you know because i my mom was a stay-at-home mom and you know i was thinking yeah this is a this is a problem <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up man like that's yeah. that's some nut next level thinking right there right like man to, to come up with that equation in your head but no that's the kind of the stuff i would think about you know like i was just like that i was always like looking at the bigger picture so anyway that's um, the way to be though you know i, I suppose i suppose yeah you know, yeah yeah, it's just it's just weird, you know. And anyway, yeah, I, I don't know, man, what they're doing with these, uh, what what their ultimate goal is. But I I just think that I just wish that they would apply more real world stuff to problems and and stuff in class to kind of. I just think the way we're teaching is just is just kind of jacked. I don't know. I think we can do it better, you know. I don't know. I haven't seen the new curriculum, you know, these days. Oh, I'll have to I'll have to find the video and share it with you later. Um, mm pretty it's pretty insane it's pretty interesting it? it's, not, it's not that long either so um okay i'm gonna check but, it out uh, hey guys i'm gonna go ahead in this stream i forgot i have to go to the pharmacy and then i have to go get my birthday supper so i have to go call it in but uh we'll be back on later around 10 p.m eastern standard time i didn't realize it was so late it's like a quarter till six and the store closes at six so i gotta go
All right, girl. Hey, thanks for having me on. Hey, right, no care. problem. Well, are you going? You're going back live again, right? Tonight? Yeah, I'm going live tonight. Too. All right. I'll send All right. The link. Okay, cool. Yeah, make sure you send it to the right place. Yeah, I sure. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. girl. Talk to you All later. Right. Okay. Bye.